In my previous video, I talked about some of the good and the bad that I noticed came from the Call of Duty World War II beta. And as of recently, Activision slash Sledgehammer has released an article which I will link in the description of some of the bug fixes that they plan on implementing for the launch of the game. I'm excited for this now because they're actually listening to the community for a little bit. And so they're trying to make the game as best as possible, which it won't be the greatest game of all time. But as long as they're trying to fix things here and there, I'll be happy with it. Because it means they're trying to improve it as much as they can for the community that plays it. In my previous video, one of the things that I mentioned that I didn't like was the amount of points you got per kill in Domination. It was frustrating because you only get 50, 50 points per kill and it took forever to get t any type of score streak unless you went on a really good streak. Or is killing people off a flag or capturing a flag or defending a flag. That's the only way it seemed for me to be able to get score streaks in Domination. And I love playing the game mode, so now it's going to be even better that they're switching to 100 points per kill, which will make it a lot easier to get any type of score streak in it. Another thing that they plan on changing is switching from 75 points to 100 points for domina uh, not domination, team deathmatch. I don't play this game mode that much, so personally for me, it, it doesn't really affect me. One thing I failed to mention in my previous video was that when you're in prone you can't directly stand up and sprint out so in the previous call of duties if you're laying down you can literally stand up and run away right away in this game when you're prone you're about to see it right here ready after i shoot this guy i'm about to go prone and then you have to go to crouch crouch and then stand up and sprint you can't just go from prone to sprinting it's frustrating for me because if you're sniping and someone's on a head glitch i like to be prone so they can't see me scoped in stand directly up and then go for the headshot but in this game for me i noticed i'd be prone i would have to go to crouch they would see me while crouching and then when i go for the headshot i just die because they would be able to see me crouching and already start shooting so i think they're trying to fix that too which is a great thing it bothered me so much it's something little but you know it's just being so used to the previous call of duties and be able to do that it was nice another thing that they're trying to fix is the audio in this game so call outs i think they talked about fixing because sometimes soldiers would just give a call out and be weird but they're trying to fix that but also the the hit marker sound so i have some gunfights i was shooting people and i'd kill them but i wouldn't be able to like know or you have the feeling that i killed them so i just keep shooting at their bodies and waste my ammo they're now trying to fix that which is a good thing so now i know if you're shooting someone if they're dead or not instead of you know just keep shooting at them Another thing that they're going to plan on fix is the Mazel Tov score streak. So when you got it, you get two Mazel Tovs, and now they're only giving you one. Never use a score streak, so I can't really complain about it. Another thing that they're also fixing for score streak is the Paratroopers one. Apparently, they're trying to buff it a little bit, which is fine. I've gone against a team that had it, and I went against them, and I had no problems. It wasn't overpower at all. It was actually kind of weak, so I kind of agree with this, this buff. Another thing that they're trying to nerf is the incinerary rounds on the shotgun. Apparently some people think they're too strong and they need a little bit of nerf, so they're going to be looking at that. I don't use shotguns. I will, depending maybe here and there, but I primarily never use shotguns. Once in a while I'll pick one up off, the, off an enemy soldier and use it. But they plan on fixing that. They're going to nerf it a little bit. I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't think it was too OP. But that, those are just some of the updates that were coming out. Uh, there's going to be plenty more. One thing I wish they mentioned was the menu. I think the menu was awful in this game. So I wish they would actually fix that. But they didn't say anything about that. But that's just just some of the updates that are coming from Sledgehammer for this launch of the game. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. There's going to be more videos coming out from me. I'm back on this grind. I'm motivated again for no reason. Even if I get one comment. Thank you Volt for checking in on me. That was nice of you to still be around. I'll be talking to you soon. Thank you for watching this video this far. If anyone else watches, I'll link the description to the article. I'll put the link in the description to the article. That is awful English. Uh, so you can read the rest of the updates. I just want to cover a few of them. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. More Call of Duty World War II beta videos will be coming from me. Maybe some other weird videos will also be coming out. But as of now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got the information that you needed. These are just some of the changes coming to the launch of the game. And hopefully more will come. So I'll talk to you guys later. And have a good day.